Hi guys, so I have redone the boys' room, actually all in today, and sorted through all their stuff and have set it up the way I like it. I um, kept meaning to do the other way the room was laying, but I don't know, it wasn't sitting right with me and it was annoying me and we kept collecting, oh look, I kept not cleaning beside the window and so I cracked it today and um, moved it all around. So here is a tour of how I've set it up. Now this is how we want it, so here we go. So you walk in, it is a little tight. You've got a bookcase here and a bookcase here and a door behind you. Um, these are all sliding doors in this house, which is quite convenient. And then you come around and you've got, these are all tireless clothes, which I didn't actually clean up. So these are all messy. But that's all his, and there is a bucket in his spare clothes. Anywho, um, so there is his, so his undies and socks and stuff go in there. And then t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, jumpers, shorts, pants, pyjamas. And these are clothes that he either needs to go into or is too small for. So they go in that cubby there. Um, and just so if before anyone asks, all school uniforms get stored in our room slash the other um, living area. And then we've put this here. That was along the wall, which was kind of awkward. We haven't unpacked all the toys, so um, there to go there. And we brought um, a big one of these, a slightly bigger one for the main lounge room for toys and books and stuff. So um, once I sort out what goes in what room, it'll be set up better. But ideally I want all books along the top three. So these three, sorry. And this one is their coloring stuff. This one is toys like um, Buzz Lightyear, uh, Octonauts, uh, Woody, um, Spider-Man, those sort of things. I'll show you. So these are all in there. This one's a very well used bucket. We've had it for a while. And then these are just toys I've put on the shelves. It sort of went there quite conveniently. These two tubs are costumes. So they're neatly in there. This box is tools. Um, there is a lot more than that tub should be full. Um, and then this is my first Thomas set that Tyler got for Christmas. So that's in there. All along the bottom is full of Duplo. So it all neatly stacks in there and they can pull it out and they put it back. Then we come around and then on the top is the big obnoxious annoying toys. And parts of Lego I put there, and yes, I need to dust. I don't know what it is, but this house gets so dusty. Um, I think it's because they're building next door. I'm not sure, and behind us. Um, and then we've got this. Now, I can't reach them for footage video reasons, like for shortness reasons. But all of our sleeping bags, mats, are stored up there. So all our camping, sleeping stuff is stored in those two cupboards. I'd love to show you, but I'm too short. Uh, this had a door. We removed it so we could put the bunk bed here. As you can see, it wouldn't open otherwise. Top one is supposed to be linen and on the right hand side. And left hand side is um, pants and like clothes that are... Um, don't fit the little ears yet, the two little boys, because um, Joel and Harry wear the same size clothes, conveniently, and it's kind of helpful. So that is their jumpers and vests, so, so vests here, jumpers there, winter jammies here, so I put suits here and match sets here, and there is a picture that should have gone back on the wall. Um, and then unmatched goes in this pile, so he doesn't have pant friends, so... He sits there until it's washed. Uh, same system for this one, excluding you don't have one piece sets in summer. So these are all summer with um, pajamas, and they're unmatched summer pajamas, which most likely um, I'll probably get rid of because if they haven't been found now, they're probably never going to get fit, fa fa found. These are all their shorts. Um, we have a lot of these ones. I find 
in the two three three size so these are the two and the threes um, we have a lot because that's generally the time that you're um, toilet training so you go through 500 pairs in those toilet training weeks so we've got undies for Harry uh, Joel should be toilet trained this summer he's just not quite ready he started to toilet train but then split his lip these are um, um, thermals and stuff down here is a box of clothes that's too small for them and that is a Dora backpack this is a wagon this side is that box should be in the thing next to me that is a too small um, but can't fit in that box so I've got to start another box thing uh, socks go in here that's a truck And then we have all their um, Joel and Harry's hung shirts, their pants, and then they're the size four clothes that they'll go into that I kept from Tyler, which wasn't that much because which wasn't that much because um, I found after all like the two boys they both share sizes as well, Joel, uh, Cooper and Lachlan. So Tyler got heaps, that hence his massive pile of long sleeve shirts there. Um, but then they all fall apart with Tyler. I don't know whether that um, he really wears through clothes. A lot of them, a few of them had been cut by ambulance people because obviously when he goes in for asthma, we don't care. They can cut their shirt. Um, they cut the thing to get in, to put the things on his chest a few times. So... Uh, yeah, but that's only been like two shirts, um, two or three. So I don't know what happens when it gets to him, but yeah, he wears through them really well and I pretty much throw them all out. So then Joel and Harry get new clothes. So yeah, that's how it's worked out so far. So back to our room tour. So we have one of the backpacks here. The other one was there, but um, I think Joel or Harry must have taken it. That tub is supposed to go in there, and that's that. And then I put the Mickey Mouse piano thing. It's actually switched off, so I won't do anything. There, that is uh, Joel's bed. For anyone wondering, he does not like a doona. He only likes the blankets, so he gets them. So, and then Joe Harry is up the top. Now. I know people are going to be like, oh, a three-year-old up at the top. But he's really good up there. Um, so he's gone up and down bunk beds for a while. So he's gone up and down bunk beds for a while. Um, we made the decision when um, we had to administer uh, medicine to Tyler overnight. It was too difficult to do it up there. So we put Tyler on the mid bunk. So we can just stand here and give him his meds and stuff. And there is a small child over there. So we can give it to him his meds and um, check his oxygen overnight easier um, in this bed. So that works for us. Um, he's yet to fall out. Actually, I think he fell off the ladder once. So, yeah. So it's not, it's, he's not almost four, so he's pretty good at it. So, yeah, we put him up there. So this is, so this is, uh, Tyler's bed, as I explained before, it's a mid bunk and it works well for him because he has to have his oxygen checked overnight during winter. Um, yeah, so that is why he sleeps up there and he's got a giant Thomas pillow. Underneath here, I put all the obnoxious Tonka trucks and the um, ride on spaceship thing. Is it a spaceship? No, it's not. It's a, um, what are they called? Pirate ship. And then the wagons, oh, what is it? the poor patroller. And then this I thought was cute. And it was only $30 from Bunnings that was playing in Australia. And it holds just all the other toys. And there, the dumpster. And then we have this with in here. So I've got his coffee, and Joel has put his dummies there already. Um, coffee machine with all its milk and stuff cad register so they can pay for their coffees little motorbike and that thing just boats that's a little people boat the little people um 
camper van. That's um, Junior Meccano. That is a box that's empty, but it works. These are cars that go on this mat. And these are those little people. We have heaps of these laying everywhere. And I'm going to go find them all and put them in there. Underneath the bed, I will show you. There is a fire engine. That is close. Is that close? It should be close. Probably isn't. Um, that's a suitcase that Tyler uses when we travel. That is the train station, um, you know, base that thing. That's the um, Hot Wheels track that Tyler got for his birthday. And these are a box of toys that need sorting. Uh, and up on top, we have Tyler's piano. So we've also got Tyler has his Thomas picture on the wall and the other two wanted uh, Paw Patrol so they got them up there and so did Tyler as well so they went up there so that is their room that will pretty much have to stay like that I um, might add an extra few um, things but that is it that's pretty much how it would lay out I might change the little boys clothes if um, they split sizes but other than that I can't imagine it changing heaps and um, yeah and that's all for today guys like subscribe and comment below bye